So my husband has found a way to hide all those cables up just under the table without using all these expensive gadgets. All you're going to need are cable ties, velcro strips, over the door hangers, tidy clips, and wherever you're from, I know they call different things, multi-plugs, power boards, adapters. I would ensure that you have some surge protection if you have an area that is really prone to bad weather. We have had no power for the past four days and it has driven us absolutely insane. However, it has made us think about a few things in the house and kept us busy trying to get the house sorted out. My husband came up with this awesome idea to hide all the cabling. Cabling can be quite the challenge when you have a whole lot of computers in one room or any other kind of electronics. The metal racks that really cost a fortune and I think it looks a lot better. So let's take a look at what he's done. So currently I'm at my husband's desk and as you can see he has a lot of gadgets on his desk which require a lot of cabling. So let's go underneath and have a look at what it looks like now. So here we are underneath the desk. So as you can see there is a lot of cabling up here. Now this cabling would usually sit on the floor behind his desk. It would actually end up being between this table here. And this is a cleaning nightmare for me because when I clean I struggle to get in there with all the dirt. So this has actually worked out to be quite a good option for us. I know it still looks very messy, but the fact is that it's up here and people cannot see it when they're in the room. If I turn the camera around, you guys can see Raven's desk over there. Underneath that cabling looks a lot neater. It's really nice and streamlined, out of the way, she can't stand on anything, and I can still clean behind the desks really nicely. So let me show you what it is that he actually did. He took some of these towel hangers coat hangers. I don't know what you would call them. They are called so many different things. We found these in the Chinese stores here, very cheap. I think these were $4 each. If we had bought something similar to this in the store, which is actually a cabling solution, we were looking at about $20 to $35 each. And as you can see, we've used one, two, three under this desk in order to make it really nice. Then what he has done is cable tied each adapter to that in order to make sure that it is also off the ground. Luckily for us, we have tables that you can lift up. So we have this section here that you can actually hang these things over. You can see it's hooked over there. And then all he's done is screwed them back in or bolted them back in. These ones he turned the other way around. I think he did these accidentally. That is that is more like the way you would like it. So these hooks would actually face inwards, not outwards. But there we go. You guys can see how nice and neat that looks. As you can see under my table, we've used a slightly different hook because we couldn't get enough of those that we needed. So these are slightly different. But you guys can see mine is not as bad as my husband's. It looks a lot neater and it trails all the way around to Raven's, which looks very neat. My son has to put a thumbs up in there. Let's just have a look at it. Okay. Cool. Thanks, my boy. So if you're looking for a really simple, cheap option to just neat it up your cables in your house, that would be perfect for you. Obviously, this won't work with all table options. You might have to find another solution for that. You may have to screw those things into the bottom of your desks. We were lucky that we have the poles, so we could just hook them over and put the tops back on. But guys, I can't tell you how much neater this looks. It's going to make cleaning in our gaming area a lot easier. Better. Another thing that we added to each desk was those so that we could just hook all our cables in and just make them all neat and that way they're not falling down behind the back all the time. I just want to show you guys a quick clip of how bad the storm was on Christmas Day. This storm for us was later on in the evening or I would say it started around about 8ish, 9ish in the evening and it was scary. I was up alone with my son of 10 who just could not sleep with that bad weather he was absolutely so afraid you guys can see from this video the lightning was constant i was absolutely convinced it was a tornado but when i mentioned it to my husband he's like but they would have had some kind of warning out to say there was a tornado well it's a few days later three days without power and from today they've started actually showing pictures and here's one where they absolutely show a tornado i'm telling you guys it's the worst storm i have ever been in i pity anybody who was in the jasper storm because this was not as bad as what they had and i was 
right we went driving around to go check on our kids who are house sitting somewhere and there were just trees lying everywhere power out everywhere the companies that did the power the side were amazing at getting everything up and running really quickly but i just wanted you to have a little bit of insight as to what caused this whole cable situation to actually happen we also put surge protection onto our plugs because of this power outage. It's not the first time we've had a power outage. A few weeks ago it happened and my computer absolutely crashed with it. We restarted all of them and everyone was fine except for me. It has put my YouTube videos kind of like way out of whack, but I'm back on track and I'm gonna get going again. This video was taken outside my dining area. You guys can see exactly how much flashing light there was out there. Unfortunately, it didn't show the picture as clear, but I think you got an indication of just how bad it is. Comment below, did you guys also ever experience this kind of storm? It was really scary. Well, I hope that you guys have now learned a way to tidy up under your desks and neaten it up. There are lots of options out there. You can get the roll-up cables, you can get the, the Velcro strips, which we have also used some of in this setup. You can really make your place look a lot neater with a lot less money spent. If you enjoyed this video, why not go check out another one? I'm now going to go do one for you on how to clean your fridge because with this power outage, I have to throw everything away.